here at 6 o'clock, thieves target a Harrisonville guitar shop, making off with several irreplaceable guitars. As Andres Gutierrez reports, the thieves had a pretty unique way of getting inside the store. And I collected guitars all my life. I'm passionate about guitars. Jim Chumley opened yesterday's guitars in Harrisonville as a way to keep busy during retirement. He has inexpensive ones for beginners, vintage ones for collectors, and it's those guitars that this group of thieves went after last Sunday. Some of those if we don't find them are irreplaceable. Security cameras captured the suspects pulling up in a blue Dodge Caravan. The bars around Chumley's business didn't stop them. They went in next door, came up through the ceiling, came down in my bathroom, had a little knowledge. They went directly into the closet and unplugged all the alarm system. The thieves stole more than 20 guitars. This is a rather large theft. Uh, it was kind of strange. They did this in broad daylight on a Sunday morning. Uh, very rare for our city. Harrisonville police told 41 Action News suspects will usually try to unload their stolen goods rather quickly, whether it be online with collectors or at pawn stores. But the problem is some guitars do not have serial numbers on them, but uh, several, several of the guitars are so unique that they will be easy to uh, point out once we find them. Which is what happened in this case. They went downtown Kansas City and walked in with three of the guitars. As soon as the guy behind the counter got a hold of two of them, he says, well, these are stolen. They bolted with the other one, so we got two of them back already. Police have ID'd the suspects based on tips from this Facebook post. In the meantime, Chumley says he's prepared in case his business is targeted again. If anybody else ever tries to get in like they did, they got a rude awakening coming. In Harrisonville, Andres Gutierrez, 41 Action News.